Good day folks. This is the last contraption I made to try and hold a phone camera in place above the tool to make a video of my CNC lathe cutting. Um, it wasn't very good. In fact it was pretty terrible as you can see from this video here. See not very good. A lot of vibration. Too much wobbling around not too bad there at 500 rpm we just hurry through this that's the last cut there so i thought i'd see if i could come up with something utilizing these two screws i bought a more robust phone holder to attach to a bracket that i would print up and it looked fairly good this was my first attempt at a print to hold the camera on the turret of my lathe you can see here I've built this section here up so that this piece here can be printed without support and then there was support in here to get to being able to print this this stop here and the pieces go together like this so that's held in there there's a round blob on there and that sits between the two pieces but it's pretty wobbly and I looked at it and thought mm, must be a better way to do this so the first design that I came up with actually I removed this part here and I put a hole in the in the thing here uh, there was still this um, support here so this is a CAD model of one iteration and then when I looked at it again I thought why if if a pin is good enough to locate the part on that side a pin is good enough to locate the part on this side so the idea being that this thing rotates but provided that there's a pin in each side of the bracket that I want to hold in place that should locate it nicely and the screw goes in there to and in the underside and that should lock it nicely in place and be quite solid there you can see three of the iterations there were another three but I didn't think I'd bore you with them as well I think three's enough for you to look at Right, this is the final iteration, I hope, of this part. You can see it was printed this way up. So the, the printer was making layers that way. And I've got a couple of gussets in here. You can see there. This shape is to sit on the turret with a couple of holes in there for the screws to go through to attach it to the turret. And there you can see the supports that are within the holes to stop them collapsing when the 3d printer gets to the top of the holes i'll just knock those out and we see what we end up with so there's a couple of the bits of that were supporting that hole while it was being created now I'll just knock the others out and there you go there's the supports and there's the holes there's a bit of rubbish in here that needs cleaning out which I'll do with a um, a scraper that I've got and that should uh, fit quite nicely I don't know that it'll fit yet let's have a look oh, it sort of sort of goes in here's enough clearance there and you can see once I've got those holes there cleaned out so that they can take a pin 
that should I'm hoping that will hold this thing in place quite nicely my printer is a Creality CR10 Mini and it works really well I don't have any issues with it came with a glass build plate and I replaced that with a cheap flexible build plate off eBay and I have no issues with the printer at all really this particular print here as you can see it sort of stopped a bit early when I came out the filament had jammed on the spool so the printer just kept going but there was no filament being fed it's not a terribly common problem but it's annoying nevertheless when you've when you've printed something for about six hours and you've only got an hour to go and this happens it gets a bit annoying 3d printing is not quite where it would like where one would like it to be at this stage here you can see almost the finished result I put a quarter reamer through the two holes for the pins uh, I didn't put it through all the way uh, just about halfway and this pin is uh, fairly loose oh actually it's not too bad but this one's quite tight um, I measured the distance between the two pins it was 0.1 smaller than the uh, piece across here so I just took a scraper and took some of the finning off the bottom of this black plastic part and the thing is quite nicely held in place I mean this is slopping around because it's loose but once that's got a phone in there and I think that will hold together nicely so now I'll go fit it to the lathe and see what happens this little device here is a Canon BRE1 remote control a Bluetooth remote control for my camera and it makes life so much easier when you're doing tabletop stuff like this because I can just turn the camera on and off as I please it was easy to connect up and it works really well this is just crazy I couldn't see this from where I was looking but it's obvious to see I'm measuring in the wrong place so I made the um, standoff to go in there and then I had to uh, go back and make it a millimetre shorter I didn't realize how clever the autofocus is on my camera all that wrinkly skin amazing that end where the screw is still looks looks a little high I'll have to check that out and see exactly what's going on there not that it matters too much to the camera I don't think the camera will care one way or the other that little bit of flex is neither in nor there because that's not the way we need the rigidity in the X and the Z that thing is pretty solid now so I look forward to trying it out there you can see the picture that the camera is seeing now before I make any chips with this I've got some things I need to do I need to check out the vibration of my lathe at various speeds because 100 rpm can make quite a difference to how much it's rattling around uh, I'll also see if I can adjust the acceleration levels on the travel uh, see if that can help alright thanks for watching